after a series of high-profile crimes on New York City subways, right? Um, you deployed hundreds of state police and National Guard troops into the subway system. Mm -hmm. um, but since the pandemic, you have done a wonderful job. Overall, crime is down in the city. Yes, it is. So my, my question to you is, why now? Why deploy into the subway? And, and how do you respond to some of your fellow Democrats calling the move theatrics that play into Republican narratives that blue cities are poorly run war zones? Mm. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying okay. it. My job is to keep people safe. I have to keep any way I can, I'm going to keep New Yorkers safe. And I'll tell you who does show appreciation for the people out there on the streets. Mm -hmm. I've been walking the streets. I walk into business. People are just saying, thank you for taking such strong action. Now, you are correct that working with Mayor Adams since I've been mayor, or since I've been governor, uh, we have driven down crimes. You know, mm -hmm. homicides yeah. are down about 30 percent, shootings down about 38 percent. The subways, have been safer, but we had a spike recently. Yes. A 45% increase mm -hmm. in subway crimes. Now, these are high profile crimes. Can I interrupt you for a second? Yeah. Because the CEO of the MTA says that 1% of subway suspects are responsible for more than 20% of the crime right. because of New York's bail reform laws, okay. which allows them to go back out there and commit more crimes. I'll get to bail in one second. I'm going to answer this one because. What happened is, is I needed to do something dramatic and quickly mm. to send a message that you will not get away with committing crimes in our subways. You cannot slash the throat of a conductor. Oh, yeah. You yeah. cannot push someone onto the track. Okay. Because people will not take the subway if they don't feel safe. That's job number one. So they are not there to harass anybody. They, I said, I don't like those long guns. They're kind of threatening to stand there. I said, smile at everybody. Welcome them to the subway. These are moms and dads. The National Guards are just our citizens who've stepped up. So, mm -hmm. so I will do that any day of the week. I take criticism the second I wake up in the morning until I go to bed at night, and I don't care. My job is to protect New Yorkers, and that's one way to okay, do it. Okay, so what about this? Yeah. What about this? There's like a circular movement. That's why on last there. year yeah. I inherited from my predecessor and the legislature before. <laughs> They took the bail laws and watered them down and made it impossible for judges to look at the whole picture of the crime and the person, what they're doing. So I worked hard last year. I held the budget up one month late. I wanted to be on time. You can brag about being on time. I was not going to be on time because I had more leverage after April 1st. So last year I held up the budget. I got the changes I needed. Judges now have discretion. They can look at the whole issue. They can look at whether a gun was involved. Was there an order of protection? We have to protect the victims of domestic yeah. violence. My mother was a champion for victims of domestic there, violence. But there was just a crime in Long Island where body parts were yeah. found all over Long Island. They had four suspects. They let them go. Right. And right. now they're out there still. So what, what no. is the deal here? Right, right. It sounds the, insane to the, me. Though the crime that was brought was not what was bail eligible. Yes, murder is. Yes, conspiracy to commit murder is. Yes, assault is bail eligible. All those are. I know that the DA is working really hard with the Suffolk County Police Department to build the case they need to build, bring the charges that are necessary. The charges he brought, he did not have enough evidence at time to so hold them. you can't them. hold them? Not on the no, charges he brought. Not, not, but those are low-level charges. They really weren't. And we can work to make those bail eligible in the next session, but I changed the law. It only went into effect last May, by the way. So we've, we've had a real drop in recidivism since I've been governor. Everyone talks about this. Yeah. Down 45 percent. This whole thing, this congestion pricing, I don't understand. Okay. Because... Let's go at it. Let's because the mayor... Because New Yorkers did not mess up the streets. We had used to have four-lane mm -hmm. avenues. We had ways to get around. You could get... It might have taken a long time because we have big trucks, but you could get around. The idea of having to pay... Mm -hmm. I'm a lifelong New Yorker. The idea of having to pay to go from point A to point B without really having the conversation, only to see those things go up anyway, it made me feel like nobody was listening. Nobody said, hey, maybe we should not have put all of these the bike, bike lanes, lanes yeah. everywhere. Maybe not, we should not have parking gotten... lanes. Yes. Not, and, and you can't get around now. You can't, you can't get to Broadway in time unless you leave the day before. You only have 30, <laughs> you have 30 seconds. You know, so I, I know we don't have any more time, and I, I want to say thank you, and maybe you and I can talk about Let's this, but this is, huge, okay. this is a huge deal because I can afford it. Don't get me wrong. I can afford it, but a lot of my friends who drive in every day who left here because they couldn't afford to live here anymore yeah. can't, and it's, a, it's I know, I, I know. I've got the answers for I you. Know. We'll have to do it another time. So, Governor, I asked you about this congestion, congestion pricing, yeah. which is driving me berserk. Right. What is the point? Because 
New Yorkers didn't mess up no. the, the streets of New York. We have bike lanes in places that we're not prepared for. We have trucks that are too big for what the, for what the city says it wants. So how do we make the trucks smaller? How do we make it not another money grab? Because that's what it feels like. I understand that. Okay. There's many reasons why we're doing this. This city is immovable. It is, we're at a crisis where people can, I can walk backwards and heels faster than most trucks can get down the streets right now. This yeah. is, so the Bike city lanes. is paralyzed. The city is paralyzed. But if you're sitting there with a heart attack and the emergency responders are taking too long to get you and there's a big, a lot of data about how the response times are slower mm. now because people can't get through, then we've got a public safety problem as well. So we want to get more people off the roads, we have the world's greatest, more, most uh, robust 600 miles of subway trains that take people around. I'm making the subway safer. But mm -hmm. also, people earning less than 60000 don't have to pay. We've made a number of exemptions for people. People coming in from New Jersey, you know that 80% of people coming in from New Jersey to work in the central mm -hmm. business district, they take public transit. This money is going to be reinvested into making sure that but our trains are better. But the MTA keeps... If I did this poor job, this is just my opinion, okay. as I feel that the MTA has sort of done over the years, because you keep saying, not you, but they keep making it more expensive to get on the, on the train. It's more expensive to get on the bus. It's more expensive to do everything. And I see people coming in and going and trying to live their lives. And, you know, not everybody wanted to leave New York. People left because they couldn't afford it anymore. Yeah. Well. So why are we in their pockets when all we could do is make maybe rearrange how the streets are, move some of those bike lanes, and make it more practical for us to be able to get up and down. Because we all want to get places. Right, right, right. And I just think that because so much was done without talking to folks, and now this thing is up, and every time I see it, I go like this uh, to it. Because uh, isn't it $15 the, the, to, to, to go yeah, downtown? They, they're proposing 23 we, It was dropped. There's, uh, if you go from... 9 o'clock at night till 5 in the morning. Well, we're trying to push the delivery trucks to those hours. It's only $3 now. Mm -hmm. And these are for okay. people who have the ability to drive in to the city. Uh, we have public transit. I'm going to be announcing that we're doing the bus terminal, which is a hellhole. You've been yeah. over there, hellhole. Yeah. I'm going to redo that and make it beautiful because most people coming in from New Jersey on buses come through there. I'm trying to... I want to do Penn Station. Penn Station. Penn Station looks like the seven levels of hell when you're on it. Yeah, and yeah. I'm working hard to build it up. They hate when I say that, by the way. But it's, it's, I'm trying to focus on safety, security, making our streets flow, making our city functional, making sure people are safe. And I understand the complaints about it. But people making less than 60000 do not have to pay. We're very That's sensitive important. to low-income people.